Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Geekatorium. Please welcome to the stage, Paul Gannon. Movie trailers are liars. <laughs> Interpretive dance is our truth. <laughs> Technical issues are a pain. physical theatre, so uh, thank you for tolerating that more than anything else. Uh, hello, my name is Paul Gann, this is the Geekatorium. Give me a cheer if you've ever been to this night at all. Hey! Don't sound so depressed. <laughs> uh, give me a cheer if you've never been here before. Yay! You're in the minority. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah, well the thing is, it's called the Geekatorium, and we do talk about geeky things in this show. Uh, give, me a, well, give me a cheer if you would call yourself a geek. That's you, you can just go, don't look at me. <laughs> Here's the thing, if you're sitting here, who in this room is not a geek? Home crowd, Silverman! By the way, by the way, this is my cohort in crime, Eli Silverman, round of applause for that man. Thank you. Go lock in the decks tonight. Deck, singular. <laughs> don't be a deck. Uh, so yeah, he'll be playing uh, all kinds of random vinyl throughout the show. What, what can we expect? Uh, random vinyl? 
<laughs> Import is always necessary, Eli. Don't feel I have to do too much. I've got like uh, soundtrack stuff, uh, some eighties uh, TV themes. You see, you wanted me to say something, and now I started. And now we've all lost interest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, fair enough. Anyway, so uh, yeah, if you're sitting in this room, you're thinking I'm not a geek. Well, guess what? Everyone in the world is a geek to some extent. The way I define it is, if you're a geek, you just have a passion for something. With me, it's Ghostbusters and the supernatural. We'll get into that later. <laughs> Lonely boy. Uh, uh, but let's just say you're sitting there, let's just pretend it's you, sir. And it's like football is your thing, and you're saying, I'm not a geek. Well, guess what? If you like football and you watch your favourite team and you watch your favourite players up and down the league, you'll be a football geek, okay? Simple. Let's just pretend you're a woman, madam, right? And let's, let's and let's just say, for you, it's soap opera. See how I generalise. <laughs> football and soap operas, I know nothing about men or women. Um, but you've got your favourite soap, you watch your favourite character. Every single show you're there, you would be a soap opera geek. Um, you could be, you could even be like a seventy year around with every single Disney film. And you would be a sex offender. But <laughs> it's important to draw a line. Also, you know, if you're a woman and you read all the Twilight books, you are lonely. It's like, <laughs> I could go on, but I won't. Uh, if you like Game of Thrones, you have no grasp of the genre. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I have other websites I go for for violence and rape and sex all in one patch. And it's not called GameOfThrones.com. Similar sounding name though. Game of Bones. Thank you. 